Good day traders, this is Stefanos on behalf of Tixi and in today's webinar we'll be giving a look back of the market for the week of the 10th until the 14th of October. Looking at some of the highlights for over the course of the past week, on the stocks front we had the Q3 earnings season kicking off with JP Morgan and Citigroup releasing their earnings. Meanwhile on the Forex front we had inflation data from the US which actually rocked the market when we got the actual reading. But first, a disclaimer, as always, please know that all of the ideas discussed in the webinar are my own opinions and do not make up for any form of investment, trading advice, neither any recommendations to buy or sell. You should always do your own research and due diligence before buying or selling any securities, financial products or instruments and whether you use any kind of trading strategies. Any information that relates to past performance is not indicative of future results. <music> So, looking at stocks, first things first, as we mentioned, we had JP Morgan and Citigroup both reporting their figures. Now, both of them had more or less like similar uh, results, um, which one, I guess, could say that this was expected in the sense that due to the high interest rate environment that we're in, in the US and across the globe as well, uh, we can understand why uh, all these bank stocks are benefiting from this kind of, uh, of environment. Uh, so we had both stops, uh, both stocks topping their revenue and EPS estimates. Uh, again, which is something that is most likely due to the fact that uh, we had this kind of aggressive interest rate hike cycle from uh, from the Fed. Uh, now, looking at the specifics, I have them right in front of me. Uh, Citigroup topped their earnings estimate by 14% and the revenue estimates by 1.39%. Uh, now we can also see this in front of the chart all you need to do is just type in the letter c and you can scroll towards the bottom here you can see citigroup and we can just pull up the chart uh, now in terms of the timing of the release they both they both they released their earnings on friday uh, before the market opens in the pre-market hours so essentially so the impact uh, with the open on the same day again being friday uh, now, even though you can see a red candlestick, don't forget we still have the gap up, which started all the way up here, essentially. So we're still net kind of positive. It's not by that much, but it's still net positive with uh, with the gap up. Uh, but we can see the impact of the earnings announcement itself, uh, because with the open, we can see that it reached a high all the way up here. In terms of, uh, of percentage-wise, it was as much as 330 uh, three percent before prices started uh, retracing uh, a little bit lower. Uh, a similar case was also uh, posted with uh, with JP uh, Morgan as well. So let me just pull up the chart for this one. Uh, as you can see, it's also a candlestick. But again, when we're looking at the gap itself, it's like a net positive day. Uh, but of course, again, prices did retrace quite a bit uh, after opening and moving further higher. Uh, but they did still reach uh, a high of being up by 5.2%. Uh, so again, this can highlight uh, the impact that the earnings reports can have. But obviously, it's always important to keep in mind uh, if we're going to be having any press conferences because that's when, for example, uh, C-level executives can come in and potentially uh, throw away any gains that were made from uh, from the actual figures themselves. If they mention, for example, that uh, they can they project like a negative outlook in terms of the economy and uh, with regards to the performance of the individual stock, then this obviously can throw off um, the initial uh, optimism that could have been posted from from the actual figures. Because, like we mentioned, both stocks uh, beat both their their own uh, revenue and EPS estimates as well. Uh, but nevertheless, it was still kind of a decent range to work off of, and again highlighting how useful uh, it can be in case uh, you want to be looking at trading any of the earnings announcements. Uh, now, moving on to Forex, uh, the one event that rocked the markets was the inflation data that was released from the US on Thursday. Uh, the core inflation rate rose to a 40-year high, uh, rising from a 6 Point uh, five percent reading to six point six. Now, despite the fact that it's just a difference of zero point one percent, 
uh, this difference and the impact was felt across many markets and not just the FX markets. Uh, but if we want to look at, uh, at the FX market specifically, now uh, we can have a look at a few currency, major currency pairs. Uh, so let's have a look at one of the most liquid, if not the most liquid one. For this one, I'm actually going to change it onto the 30 minute time frame. And we can just scroll here back, which was again the uh, 13th when the CPI uh, reading was released. Uh, without even telling you, I'm pretty sure you can already tell uh, which candlestick we're talking about. And it's pretty much this one right here. Uh, so it was at 1.30 uh, UK time that the uh, the figure was released. And we had we saw the euro dollar dropping by staggering 1.08% which in terms of pips, this was a movement of 104 pips just in a span of 30 minutes. Now, 104 pips, it might need the whole day to make that like on other occasions, uh, but we can again see and highlight the impact that the CPI report had. And again, it was just a 0.1% uh, difference. I cannot imagine if it was uh, somewhat bigger, then we could have potentially seen even uh, bigger moves. And again, this was just the, the euro dollar. We can have a look at one more, such as the pound dollar on this occasion. And again, this is again keeping in you know, the 30 minute, uh, just to have a look at the timing uh, that the event was released. And we're going to go on the 13th. And you can pretty much see uh, on this occasion with the pound dollar, we actually had a pretty strong gap down, like the, the actual movement of the price uh, was so violent that we even have we even had a gap down without even moving from one day to another like usually uh, you can anticipate a gap to occur when you're changing from one day to the other but on this occasion uh, the movement the speed of the movement was so violent that we even saw uh, the gap forming in the regular trading hours uh, so we can see this was the candlestick right before the release and we essentially with the next one we just gap all the way uh, down here this was like the open it was a green one and we even reached a low of all the way down here which was down in the mean uh, 111s uh, now just to uh, look at the figures the pound dollar dropped by 0 0.95 percent or 107 pips and again this is just in the span of 30 minutes as you can see uh, from the time frame at the at the very top uh, so again this was just like the cpi report of course we can we have other events that can have similar impact or even uh, stronger ones such as like the nfp report interest rate reports or like the fomc mini minutes and so on and so forth uh, but these are obviously opportunities that uh, one can capitalize on uh, if you have like obviously a proven strategy that can that can take advantage of these kind uh, of events uh, but again as we mentioned this uh, the CPI report itself, it didn't just impact the, the currency markets, it also impact equity markets. Uh, we already covered those, so we're going to be looking uh, at the commodity ones instead. So if we look at all prices as an example, uh, and again, I'm just keeping everything on the 30 minute just to highlight uh, the actual event. And again, you can see 130, we had a huge drop uh, in terms of oil prices. In terms of figures, it fell by as much as 1.97% or $1.72 in the span of those 30 minutes. And if we look at uh, gold as well, which is the other commodity we can cover, uh, this it looks even even bigger than the uh, the one for, uh, for oil prices. Now, uh, gold prices fell by as much as 1.77% or $29.71. Uh, but aside from these like 30 uh, minute movements, which were again quite uh, quite strong, if we even switch this on the weekly, we can see because obviously uh, the the dollar ended the week in the green. Uh, so obviously what what uh, a trader can expect is with the uh, dollar finishing with a strong week in the green, we can expect prices of commodities that are pegged against the dollar to move in the opposite direction. Uh, so if I switch this on the weekly time frame, uh, we can we will be able to see that it was essentially uh, a week in the red, seeing as how uh, the dollar strengthened, and the figures on this occasion are even more impressive, uh, with gold prices dropping by as much as three percent or fifty one dollars and nine cents in the span of one week. Uh, and if we look at oil prices again. Uh, that was even more impressive as oil prices fell uh, by as much as 7.44% or 
or seven dollars uh, and ninety cents in the span of uh, one week. So, just looking at the at these two uh, weekly candlestick, we're pretty all prices pretty much gave back almost all of the gains that they made in the span of one week earlier. And again, this move was also impressive on its own, uh, as it was uh, a move a movement upwards uh, in the region of fourteen uh, percent. And again, it came in. Uh, as the OPEC announced further uh, cuts with regards to the uh, supply of oil prices. But looking at this week currently, we can see that we gave more than half of uh, of those gains from uh, from last week. Uh, so again, just highlighting the, uh, of course, like it, it's important to use your technical analysis and so on and so forth. But let's also not forget the kind of impact and movements that um, the economic calendar can generate. And not just the economic calendar in terms of the forex market, but also the earnings calendar, as we see now, as more and more companies are going to be reporting their figures, and we're going to be seeing uh, similar volatility when it comes to the equity markets as well. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. This is as far as the look back and review for this week. Uh, definitely stay tuned for the outlook. It's going to be covering some uh, more stocks that are going to be releasing their earnings reports next week, so you can obviously uh, plan ahead. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it useful and I'll catch you all in the next one. Until then, trade safe.